everybody, it's Chris from C's Crazy Crossroads, Triple C for short. It's my new channel. I'm here with Big Joey C. From What's up? Urban Ghost, Urban Explorations, and Todd from Holy Walkers. We're at it again, guys. Listen, we had a crazy week last week. I appreciate everybody's comments and uh, support on my first video. Um, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. It's 3 o'clock in the morning once again. We're at some old abandoned... Uh, Office building. I don't even I know what it is. It's man. like it's like an office building. It looks like maybe some houses all hooked up together, and it's freaky as hell. When we were pulling up, we saw some crazy people already here. I think they boogied, but we're gonna find out here real short. But stick with us, and we're gonna come back and do a 30-minute challenge within the next couple of days too. We'll see you soon. Peace. All right, so this is an abandoned building that is close to a hospital. So my guess is that it's possibly an abandoned office building. Um, but it's really creepy out here. I know Joe's been out here once before. <sighs> right away, you get some really weird feelings. Wow, this is so overgrown, but it's pretty cool. Look at that. Looks like Wrigley Field. The Ivy. Alright, so there's... Four or five buildings, maybe. Back here, and Todd just found... Another building way off to the back, which looks a little creepier. Oh, yeah, look at this bicycle. No, it's right here. Hello? Yeah, I think we should check that building out first. All right. All right, let's... Watch out. I have a feeling that... Oh, no, the bike is here. Somebody moved the bike. Yeah, I wonder if there's... Homeless people here. Uh, can you tell us like an oh, there's homeless people like here. They were gonna start building something. Didn't oh yeah, that's that's nothing. That's just a block. You mean a trash? It's, it's a just trash? a foundation. It Could be a trash. a trash receptacle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Watch yourself here too. There's a big sewer. Oh yeah. Shit. You don't want to pull that, man. Hello. Okay, that's not All right, I don't building. think there's anything to be concerned with here. But that bicycle you said was in a different spot? Probably. <clears throat> was in a different you think spot. it was the same bike? Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. There's so, definitely been people here. I mean, there might be a lot of pretty stuff in the gear. Okay. This is just crazy how random clothes... Yeah, there's definitely some homeless people that are staying here. See the clothes, shoes. Hello, anybody here? Anybody here? Anybody hungry? Whew, ooh. Anybody hungry? Need some food or anything? Wow. Yeah, you know what? This is wide open, but it's giving me the chills. Oh. Wow, this is crazy. It's all tagged up. Some pretty neat artwork, huh? Oh, this is uh, the Latin Kings, I think. Is that their symbol? I just see a crown, so I assume it's Latin Kings. What do I know? Could be the Lion King. Did you guys see this? There's a Bible over here. Oh, that's, that's good. It's beautiful artwork, though, huh? Start with the whistling, for God's sakes, please. 
Yeah, they just heard a whistle. <sighs> Here we go. No, Chris, he hears whistles. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more whistling. Did you pick up anything when you were here last time, Jeff? Yeah, the voices and stuff. <clears throat> Was it in any specific building? In space. No one can hear toys scream. Star of MSG. Yeah, you hear that? I mean, but it's we're right here. There's nothing around us. Sounds like a woman. Do you hear a woman? That's me whistling. That's just me. Yeah, it's just really, really crazy because it's did so wide open. I did. Tap on the window. Hello. I did. I'm gonna go. Yeah, because there could be people outside of here just. <clears throat> yeah, there's people watching us. Right? Yeah, I, f I feel it. Whoa. I thought it was somebody right out that window. Yeah, by yourself it's going to be really freaky. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> so it sounded like there was a tap on the window over here on this side. Well, there's nobody there. I thought I saw somebody too, but wow, this is this is weird. <clears throat> and you have to excuse me, guys. I'm fighting a really horrible cold. Seriously, you hear whistling out there? It's one thing I haven't heard. Joe is whistling. Really sad. Oh yeah. Says her my name. If there's any spirits that want to talk to us, now's your chance. Did you hear that, Todd? Was that over here? Is that what you heard? Yeah. Oh my god. All right. I feel weird in this building. Yeah. We both heard it at the same time. This building is really strange. Yeah. There's one that has a ladder that you can go up. That was the other one that we just left. Well, there's another one that like has a walkway like this. I'm gonna try to go across there. Oh, I got a crazy feeling in this one. No, I don't, I don't feel yeah, this one's not good. You know what really freaks me out the most is that I, I'm pretty sure the people that were in here playing right now, the people that we saw and they're probably watching us from the woods. Wow. Was that you? I don't know. I said wow. Strange feeling in this one, particular, particular. You know weird. I get those feelings too, and I, I think what I can attribute. Oh, careful! I think something bad happened here. I think that, like, this is used for nefarious reasons. I think so. Yeah. What is this? That was on. That was on the other one too. It was on the other one. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Whoa. Man, this is strange. 
All right, so this is this is a little area between two buildings. I don't know if it's connected towards the back, but it's really freaky because it's so overgrown. I mean, you can see the cameras at my eyes level, and this is how high everything is. It's weird. It's got a really weird vibe in that last building, and I hope I don't have that same vibe in this one, but. <sighs> Gonna be positive. Yeah, 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 I'm good. These rafters freak me out. Okay, this building's not bad at all. So far, so good. So far, so good. Feeling pretty good. I notice every time I say I'm feeling pretty good, something something happens. Is this the same building we were in earlier? Yeah, it's kind of weird how that wrapped around. Okay, so there's just three buildings attached. It looks like there's six. Be careful, Joe. These rafters are freaky. Yeah, Joe, I don't know if that's the greatest idea, man. I got this, bro. Okay. Final last words. Yeah, oh yeah, just make sure I get you. Tell me when you're starting to fall. We'll get a lot of hits then. <laughs> you got it, bro. Alright. Joe's about 285 feet up in the air right now. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm zoomed in with the camera, but... <laughs> we cut out. It took him. It took him 35 minutes to climb up there. But do you hear that? Do you hear that? Somebody on that window? Somebody outside? Right out this window. There's somebody out there, Todd. You can see. All right, so, so far it's pretty hey, common here. Crazy, guys? Joe's up in the rafters talking. What's crazy, Joe? Well, the fact that we, I keep hearing voices up here. I do hear. It's not you guys, because I can clearly see you. Oh, but that's what's funny I heard earlier when you first heard it, I heard a big bang like that. I think about two times we've heard different voices. Todd said he heard it say get out. I can't really distinguish what's being said, but it's definitely a lower voice. I'm used to hearing like female voices but uh outside of that it's been pretty cool there was a couple of bangs on the windows and uh, that last one was pretty strong but it could just be this place settling maybe todd possibly <laughs> but this is remnants of people staying here which you know what if i were homeless this would be a nice little shelter to shack down in i would uh I wouldn't mind it. Definitely a little creepy. Felt like we've heard some couple of voices. Um, the alone challenge, I think, is going to be a little creepier. I'm kind of glad there's not a lot of things that could be moving poltergeist-wise. So I don't have to worry about that. This is just really sad. Really sad to me. Too bad those aren't my size. I was just saying how sad it is, you know. Oh yeah, bro. To see. And I mean, if you think about it, this is a residential community. Yeah, it's I know. Sad to think that there's people like that. Yeah, yeah, you're in between. I think what we should do. The good and the bad parts of town here, but. There's a Bible here. I'm curious if what we open the Bible to, let's see what it says. Uh, and let's do a little prayer and then open the Bible and ask. You want to do that? Yeah, wait. We'll wait for you, Todd. 
So the Bible's here, and look. Grace. Won't there be grace? Yeah. Oh, be careful up there, buddy. Oh, the good news is it's 99 degrees in here. Yeah. That's the good news. That's the only good news. Alright, so if you guys are expecting C's crazy crossroads to start climbing up ladders and stuff to go in rafters, it's not going to happen. It's like, I'm going to need some more views. Yeah, yeah, because C is not the, the uh, most agile of people. Crazy? No, right, guys, I'm crazy, but I don't feel like falling down to the ground and letting you guys get a good chuckle on my behalf. He's crazy. Right, so we go. We found this Bible here, guys, and what we do is do a little prayer. Let's open the Bible and see what we open it to. See if some it tells us something, because, right, I have faith in the Bible. Yeah. So, you got to have faith. Can you so see Todd, that? You How about that? Todd, you want to uh, lead the prayer tonight, and then we'll shut our lights. First of all, we'll see what the Bible, is, what we open to. Okay. You just want to do first? And uh, let's do the prayer first, don't you think? Okay. And then, all right. all right, so let's all join hands. There right, we go. Oh, wait, what's that? It's not my hand. <laughs> hey, what is that? Okay. All right, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you right now, Lord God, for watching over us and protecting us, God. We, we ask you, Lord, to forgive us of our sins, Lord God, to watch over us. Lord, while we are here, do not allow any harm to come to us. Do not allow any spirits to attach themselves to us in any way, shape, or form. And Lord, we pray that you would just constantly protect us in your name, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Nice. All right. All right, so dun, 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 dun. Any, any page, let's see what we get. Oh, that's not good. Well, it, <laughs> you can't, the sense it's, you can't okay. play that. Oh, wow. Lamentations. All right, so let's pick any, let's pick a number between 1 and 20, and um, whoever okay. comes closest, that's the chapter we'll read. How about that? So whoever comes closest to, to whatever this is, what number is this? I don't think they go more oh. than three chapters on this. <clears throat> no, two. Oh, okay. Four right. chapters, four. All right. So I'll let, how about Todd, you just pick since you used to be a pastor. All right. Here we go. This is the way to go right there. My sins have been down. There we go. He said 14, oh. verse 14, chapter one, verse 14. My sins have been bound into a yoke by his hands. They were woven together. They have been hung on my neck and the Lord has sat my strength. He has given me into the hands of those I cannot withstand. And then it says the Lord has rejected all the warriors in my midst. He has summoned an army against me to crush my young men. In his wine press, the Lord has trampled virgin daughter Judah. Okay. That sounds intense. Bro. So, uh, translation for us. Uh, translation? What would, you, what would be your best way to translate that? So, basically, uh, he prayed and the Lord took away his sins. So, the or? yoke kind of refers to, like, an ox. They would carry the yoke on their back, right? Like, the, when they would pull stuff. Right. So, metaphorically speaking, it's like Jesus. So, my sins have sins. been bound into a yoke. Right. So basically, he's saying he pulls. He's having a, like his sins are like a weight on his shoulders that he's pulling. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Right to get the job done or whatever. Um, by his hands they were woven together. They have been hung on my neck, and the Lord has sapped my strength. So it's making him tired, right? Like because he has. Right. This because all he's around. had the sins. He's he's he's, he's down with sin. Right. Okay. He's given me into the hands of those I can't cannot withstand. So he's a, saying that like God's allowed him. To like somehow be persecuted by the people that right like he doesn't like being around kind of thing. Right. Uh, Lord's rejected all the warriors in my midst. So I think he may, I think he's saying like the warriors that could help him out of this. Yeah. Like he's saying like the warriors that could help him defeat this and help him like against the people. He, he's basically removed them. Um, he summoned an army against me to crush my young men. And his wine press Lord has trampled virgin daughter Judah. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is referring to. Um, I'd have to look up more information, but. The virgin daughter Judah. This is why I weep daughter of my Judah. eyes overflow with tears. No one is near to, com to comfort me, no one to restore my spirit. My children are destitute because the enemy has prevailed. So it's so just. Basically it's a, saying this is the book of limitations, so it's a book of like woes and like right. kind of crying out to the Lord. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I don't oh, know. We got close. We got close. You know what? That other building over here definitely seemed like there was more going on. 
The smaller one? Let's go in there. Go in there and do the lights yeah. out. <clears throat> oh, sure. That's not why I said that. <laughs> that's that's, that's not why I meant that. But. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we'd stay out of there. Oh, we're going to have to go the other way. Yeah, this is so built up, guys. You can't even walk from building to building. I have to open my mouth, huh? All right. That was great, Todd. But it's not like somebody was throwing something at the building. You guys heard that? Yes. Oh, before. Oh, yeah. I... Okay, guys, the camera shut off. Um, I'm not sure where or when, but I'm telling you, it's probably right when we walked into this building because we heard something. And I think there's a bullet right there, bro. We also uh, have some really bad vibes in this building. There's a 22 caliber bullet. 20 is not 22. And a more bullet. Well, I don't have my glasses, but who's got good eyes? I'm gonna say it's maybe 380. Is it 380, maybe? Yes, Can you see? I can't see it. Uh, a bunch of old guys with bad eyes, but I think it's a 380. Yeah. I think there's a marble. I can't. Oh, a marble and a bullet. A marble and a bullet. Mm hmm. A slingshot and yeah, a 380. 380 auto. Yeah. When? It's a weird looking marble. <clears throat> Are you guys ready this to This is uh, just a huh. full yeah. metal, an FMJ, if you will. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna do lights out. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I'll tell you what, this is, this is gonna be really freaky in the 30 minute. I can tell you that much, dude. Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. We're gonna go lights out. Oh, sure, right. Um, you're gonna leave me by myself, huh? All this in different spots. All right, let's see what we capture. Okay. If there's anybody here, any spirits want to talk to us, now's the time. There you We come in peace, spirits. Did you hear that, Joe? It was like a wolf howling, right? <laughs> what the heck was it? It's a, maybe it's a coyote. Whoa. I heard that. Uh-huh. Make yourself known. <clears throat> Excuse me. I heard I'm coming for you. Did you hear that? It's a little loud. Real low. Real low voice. Oh, Joe. Just watch yourself because if you take any steps, I will. What was that, Joe? What did that say? I don't know. I heard like a whisper, but I don't know. It wasn't a whisper, man. Okay, how much longer are we doing this? I want to see if you catch anything. Though. It's about three times I've heard that. Oh, man. Is that you? Is that you? Do a lights out. Yeah. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. I'm out of here. Okay. All right. All right. You guys coming? Why are you still in there? 
Holy shit. Oh my god, why are you still standing there? What was that? Dude. All right. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm actually kind of excited to come back here for 30 minutes. Yeah, of course. Joe's excited to come back here now. I'm I'm not excited, Joe. All right. So there was. There was something, but that whatever that was was up here in the rafters. So do you think? Somebody's. There was nobody there, but it sounds like someone's like almost like trying to alert us. I mean, the thing that scares me most, guys, is we're in this place, and I mean, yeah, it's it's scary, but it's in the woods. Like, what would be a like a place like this? That's a bad. Oh fuck! Oh my God! What the hell? Shut your light! Shut your light! Get over here! Get over here, guys! Get over here! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just just take cover. Just take cover. What the? Dude. Oh, that was right there. We got to get to our car, but hold on, man. Hold on. That was a gunshot with a rifle. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shh, shh. Come here. Just. All right. Listen. We got... All right, wait. Just give it a second. Give it a second, man. Oh, Jesus. Keep the lights off if you don't want Alright, we're just gonna have to break for it, man. No, shh. Go, 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 go. Shut the fuck up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get in the car and we're going. Get in the car and just go. Alright, it's on the other side. Come on, guys, seriously. Let's go. Get in the car. Get in the car. Take Start my it camera. up, bro. Get out Take of here. Take my camera. Todd, get in. Come on. Todd, Todd get in. Come on. That was a gunshot. Come on. You in? Yeah. That was close range. Dude. All right. Oh, shit. 